Let me show you how to install a really powerful tool that's called Uptime Kuma on your own VPS. This way you can monitor a whole bunch of things, including websites with Uptime Kuma. So let me show you how to install it really easily right now. What's up everyone? So I'm going to show you how to install Uptime Kuma, which is this one right here. It's an open source service that you can install on your own VPS. Now the idea is to install this really easily without having to be a developer, no encoding or even going into terminal. So it's going to be super easy, just a quick install. So this is Uptime Kuma. You can add a bunch of monitors right here, which is super powerful for something that's actually free. So there's no need to pay for something that is uh, month to month. In this case, this is completely free. And like I said, this is the open source version that you can grab at GitHub. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to install it really easily on server avatar. Now for this, we're going to need a VPS where we're going to install Uptime Kuma. So we're going to be in charge of having these files on our own server. Now, don't be scared. It's going to be super easy and it's safe. All right. So the first thing you want to do is obviously have a VPS. In this case, I'm going to show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They are providing the VPS to make this video. So jump over to the link in the description, go to hosting, go to VPS hosting. And if you need a VPS, they have several plans available. If you're going to use this for Uptime Kuma and if you're going to be monitoring, I don't know, less than 20, 50 sites and they're not going to be really constant, I would definitely recommend KVM one. That's more than enough. But if you're going to do a bunch of sites and going to be managing sites, I do recommend going into these plans. So let's go check out KVM two because I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code that's going to reduce the price even more. So the first thing Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? In this case, I recommend 24 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 24 months. Now, this is the price right now, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $150 with 98 cents. That's for 24 months. So it's definitely a good deal. Now, let's go into server avatar. Right here, I already have installed the hosting your BPS. You can use any BPS that you want. It will work the same. And if you need to watch a video of how to install the BPS on server avatar, I'll be leaving that link in the description. So the only thing I will tell you is that you will have to go to create, go to servers, add the VPS details, but select node stack. All right. Don't use these because you won't be able to install uh, uptime Kuma. All right. So let's go back to servers. In this case, I'm going to use my server that has node installed. I'm going to select it and in nodes, we're going to go to applications. In applications, we're going to create and in create, we're going to add a name for this uh, app. Let's say Kuma time and we're, we can use the primary domain, which is a subdomain or the main domain. Just point the domain to this IP address from your VPS. In this case, I'll be using a test domain. So I'm going to say Kuma test, right? And I'm going to select one click. And in this case, I'm going to select uptime Kuma. All right. So let's go ahead and create the application. And one of the beauties about server avatar is that it's going to do all that backend work that you would have to do manually on a terminal, but server avatar is going to do it for us. All right. So let's give it a few minutes and this is going to do the process of the installation. There we go. The application has now been installed and as you could see, I didn't have to do anything, no terminal codes, no nothing, no manual typing, etc. Everything was done super easily. All right. So our link should now be ready. Let's go jump over there. OK. And the first thing that Uptime Kuma is going to ask us is the first details that we're going to need so we can always log into this system. All right. So first off, select the language that you want to use. In this case, I'll keep it English and I'm going to say Kuma Kuma and I'm going to add a password. We're going to create. And here we go. We now have our dashboard. We now have Uptime Kuma ready to be used and start monitoring our websites, our webhooks, and a bunch of things that you can actually monitor with Uptime Kuma. So check this out. All of this can be monitored with Uptime Kuma. So it's really easy to use. There's several tutorials on how to use it. I do recommend that you check those out. But you can see how easy it was to install Uptime Kuma using server avatar. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan, do check out the BPS from Hostinger. If you plan to use server avatar to install Uptime Kuma really easily, well, I will be leaving the link in the description. And that's a wrap.